Mahavishnu Priya. The uh, deities it was uh, made by Bangshi Badan and the artist who made this deity from the Nim cart, from the Nim wood, Nim tree. His name is Bangshi Badan and uh, his signature is there under the deity I have seen. Just under the deity, it's there, the sign. And Mahavishnu Priya, she used to worship that deity with great bhajan. When Mahaprabhu accepted sannyasa, she also start to follow the same rules like sannyasi. Sannyasi, very tough. We know uh, the spiritual practice of Raghunath Das Goswami. How hard it was. But most of us, we didn't know about the worshipping bhajan of Mahavishnu Priya. Once a day, she used to take prasad. From Arunodai, that means from Brahma Murta, she will start to chant Maha Mantra. And with every Maha Mantra, when one full Maha Mantra is there, then you will, so you will keep one rice, only one single rice. And she so will chant until sunset. Only how many rice will be there by Mahamantra chanting? She so will cook that rice, she so will offer it to Sivan Mahaprabhu, then she so will take this prasad. So in this way, she continued his bhajan, her bhajan, very dedicated, with great love to the deities and Charana Paduka, the wooden shoes of Sriman Mahaprabhu, she worshipped. But when she was very old, she accepted she accepted the son of her brother. He, she adopted. She adopted the son of her brother to continue the worshipping of Dhameshwar Bigraha and Charan Paduka. And that temple. It was built by Raja Bir Hamid. She was, she was also very good devotee of Srinivas Acharya Prabhu. She was the disciple of Srinivas Acharya Prabhu and he built this temple, that temple. But where the date is, uh, the Dhameshwar date is now, that is not the old temple, just right side. Right, right side temple is the old and it was built by Raja Bidhamid. And when at the last moment Vishnu Priyadevi she entered, she merged in that deity of Dhameshwar Mahaprabhu. That is why there is no different deity of Mahavishnu Priya but they are worshipping, they are doing archan of Mahaprabhu and Mahavishnu Priya on the same deity of Dhameshwar Mahaprabhu. That is why sometimes we can get darshan of Mahaprabhu dressing as Mahavishnu Priya. 
so many times you can see that Mahaprabhu, uh, the deities, wearing sari, uh, putting shindur, bangles. It was. It is not Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Gaurashandar. When the Bigraha, the deity, wearing sari, that means Mahavishnu Priya is there. Because on the same deity, Sri Gaurashandar and Mahavishnu Priya both are there. Mahavishnu Priya also merged in that deity. So it is the history, and now the deities are worship, worshipping by the descendants of that adopted son of Mahavishnu Priya. Uh, the name of Jadavacharya or Madhavacharya. Maybe it is different, not uh, different. Maybe the brother's name is Jadavacharya and uh, his son is Madhavacharya or just switch it. Just so it is. Name is this two, Chadvacharya and Madhavacharya. But uh, I'm not really clear about this. I forgot this. The name of uh, her brother is Jadavacharya or Madhavacharya. But name is two. One is father and one is son. And their descendants, his descendants, now they are worshipping the deities of Mahaprabhu and they are really worshipping Mahaprabhu as their family member, not like Ishwara as their family member, like son-in-law, Jamai. So it is the very sweet and short history of Dhameshwara Mahaprabhu.